Des Buckingham's Mumbai City FC side face a stern challenge when they take on Bengaluru FC at the JN Stadium in Fatoda. Mumbai were held to a frustrating 0-0 draw by SC East Bengal in their last outing, making it four games in a row that they have not won. Mumbai lacked teeth against East Bengal and in the last few games allowed their points gap at the top to be cut by the likes of Hyderabad FC, Jamshedpur and ATK Mohan Bagan. Winless from last four matches. Uh, we need to continue getting better at what we do. Um, like I said we've played some some fantastic football over the, the past 10 games, not just the, the four that you've mentioned. Um, and it's important that we've shown signs of getting better than that. So we're, we'll very much continue um, playing the way we have and trying to make sure that what we do is as good as it can be over a large period of time. Vinit Rai's debut. Yeah, I thought he played well. Um, he came on, he was very calm. And that's part of the reason we've, we've brought him to the club. Uh, he's a, an excellent player who will fit our style of football very well. And, you know, we only had him for training the day before. It was a, a, quite a whirlwind 24 or 48 hours for him. Um, so we only trained for one session with us. Um, but when he came on, he, he looked very comfortable. And he's a very good midfield player. Um, and we spent some time with him over the past two days, really um, looking at how we can implement the style that we want to, to really enhance and help him play within the style uh, of this team. Match against Bengaluru FC. Yeah, I'm expecting a very similar game. It was a very tight affair uh, against them the last time we played them. Uh, I think we went into the half a very even game where uh, Navas has actually saved a penalty just before that kept us in the game and allowed us to go on to win it. Uh, you know, we had to, two good, good goals that we scored in the second half. And they're a good team. Um, you know, and I, I keep saying this, I don't think the, regardless of who you play at the moment, the league position is irrelevant because everyone, as you can see on the league at the moment and the, the closeness of the points, um, everyone's capable of, of pulling off results against each other. So uh, we're very much prepared and ready for, for what we face. Um, and we're very much looking forward to the game. Conversation with Indian footballers. Um, I can, I'll answer it firstly from our club perspective. You know, we, we're, obviously, we're obviously judged in the senior space and in professional leagues on the external result, which is what puts us in a certain place on the table. And for us to be sitting where we are at the moment, as tight as it is, as I speak to you right now, we sit top of the table. So at the halfway point, we're still in a very strong position and in a good position to, to enter the second half of, of the season, the one we're very much looking forward to. Um, you're going to have to remind me of the... Uh, the quality, next part. The quality. The, 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 the quality. The um, quality. Again, from, from the players that I'm working with on a daily basis, I'm very pleased with. Um, what I do see within the games, though, it's, uh, you know, you've mentioned high scoring games, and they are in a lot of uh, places around the world. They're not maybe as, as big or maybe as many goals are being scored. So what I do see is the longer the games go on, the more the games get open and stretched. Um, and that's something that we're aware of from our team, uh, both making sure that we don't become too disjointed ourselves, but also trying to take advantage of those moments. So, look, I'm very happy with the players that we have here and the technical ability, whether it's the, the young players that you mentioned um, or the, the senior or the older players that we have. Um, and I think with the extension and the time we now have, especially in this bubble, the time we use with those players can really help develop them as individuals and hopefully develop the team. Current situation of COVID-19. Yeah, we were made aware at the start of the season around the rules that are in place and if COVID was to strike within a bubble, what the protocols for that would be. Um, so we were very much aware of that from the start. Uh, we were reminded again, uh, I think probably 10 days ago at the end of December, roughly, when there was a big increase in the numbers across not just the cities, but across India and, and the world as to what those protocols would be. Um, and then it's about us making sure that what we have control of, which is our environment here, um, we are as secure as we can be. And that, that just revolves around following the, the strict rules we have around masks being worn around the complex and making sure that people are, are, are adhering to what we're asking them to, which, you know, for 80 people we have here in our own bubble, we, we have control of. Um, and then you just make sure that when you go to the training ground or to the stadiums that you hope everyone else is following those protocols to try and keep what is a, a fast spreading disease uh, out of this uh, environment for as long as we can. 